Manic Expression proudly presents Podcast Plays with music by Ichabod Todd, edited by Kyle Robles, announced by James Sullivan. Tonight's presentation, Robert Tokin is elected by Alex DeCorville. Podcast Plays are brought to you by Manic Expression's web store, Deranged Dingo Delicacies. And now, Robert Tokin is elected. Looked at me, her eyes were wide and red. She stuttered clumsily and then laughed inside her head. 21st century, and she's living on holy bread. So ride, floating with the tide. It's a long ride until you're here. She's a dirty girl, love to follow trends. I fell right in love with her when she drove up in her fins. As happy as could be. Until the money's gone It's a low ride Floating with the tide It's a free ride Until the money's gone American love Has got you on the edge American love Has made you say your pledge American love Has got you a mighty crown American love Has got you down Yeah, you lost. Ben got more votes than you. Dude, did you really want to be class president? Doing all those sound effects just for me, huh? I'm going to cut through the fat. I'm here to gloat. I won. You lost. I'm awesome. I don't get that. Arnold Schwarzenegger did that movie? I thought that was Stallone. You say that, but I chalk my victory up to the brilliance of my campaign. I'll keep that in mind when I'm at my celebration party, which you are not invited to. In fact, I'm not even telling you where it is. What you doing? Bummed that you lost the election? I'm really sorry about that. I really tried to get my friends in the band to vote for you, but a lot of them, well, you know. Sorry. For what? You did make a poster that said every time someone votes for Ben Giggard, a puppy dies. If it makes you feel better, I voted for you! Ben would never get my vote. I don't think he'd make a very good class president. Speak for yourself. I voted for Ben. I got an idea. Maybe you can run for city council? Because I was reading about it, and apparently city council is so loosely defined that anybody can run.
You're not seriously thinking of running for city council, are you? Seriously, what do you know about politics? On the last test when you were asked to name three facts about Lincoln, you said he was played well by Daniel Day-Lewis, he helped Larry Daly score with Amelia Earhart, and he traveled in time with Bill and Ted. It was five facts, and he at least knew that Lincoln freed the slaves. Excuse me? But you can't run! Do you even know what a city councilman does? I can see it now. Robert Tolkien, His Excellency City Councilman for Life, Field Marshal. Dr. Robert Tolkien, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the sea and conqueror of empires in Ohio in general and Akron in particular! In that case, I recommend saving your pennies, because I don't think that's going to be free. Bobby, you are one of the only guys I know who watches Samantha's City. That explains why you don't watch Sydney's Time. I guess I'll just leave you to your show. Bobby, I already gave you an advance on your allowance so you could buy Injustice. Sort of like how you really needed me to give you a ride to that Green Bay Packers tryout, or when you desperately needed drum lessons so you could replace Charlie Watts on the Rolling Stones tour. You really want to run for city council, don't you? After all, if you're making this up, you'd probably say you were running for president. You've never been to Mexico. <sighs> I am happy to hear about your civic-minded duties. But I just can't give you $3,200. I can't give it to you because I just don't have it. Bobby, don't you have a lot of friends who can be helping you get signatures? Surely Jay-Z and Beyonce know some people who will sign. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. policies. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I really hope that's not your new catchphrase. But I see that you want to cancel discount bus fare for senior citizens? Why would you pick a bill that your opponent supports? Robert, if you're gonna run for city council, have you thought about being more honest with the people? I just think you should think twice before you tell people about your accomplishments. You might have done that last one, but 
You have to remember, people might not appreciate your allegations. No, they might take it the wrong way. You tell people you've banged all these women and they might think you're a womanizer. And everyone knows that's bad. Yeah, but for some reason it's considered bad when politicians do it. That's about the size of it. No, it does look good if you have a first lady. Hi, this is the campaign to elect Robert Tolkien to city council. Can I count on you for a donation? Robert Tolkien? That idiot 16-year-old who's running for mayor? <coughs> I'll pass. He's not actually running for mayor. He's running for city council, and he needs your help. Oh, yeah? Well, who would he have voted for in the last presidential election? But Robert isn't old enough to vote. Oh, so you expect me to vote for someone when I don't know what he supports, huh? Hold on. Bobby, who do you voted for for the last election? Obama and Romney were not the same person. They appeared on TV together where they debated. But they debated about issues that, you know, they disagreed with. Yeah, but didn't you notice that um one of the candidates wasn't as uh, tan as the other? Romney did not want to take your big bird. He just believed that the government should stop funding. <sighs> He's not trying to take your guns. He just believes that people can get by. The guy on the phone wants to know who you support. Hi, this is the campaign to elect Robert Tolkien to city council. Can I count on you for a donation? Bobby, can I take a break? Glad to hear that. I wanted to let you know you have my full support. Not only am I voting for you, but I plan on donating millions of dollars to your campaign. I think... Yes, it is I, Benjamin Disraeli Giggard. How's the campaign going? Hey, I'd like to propose a bill. <laughs> Get rid of that statue of Herman Townsend in the middle of the town. I just think how hilarious it would be if you went around telling everyone you want to get rid of Herman. Don't you know that Herman is a slang term for dick? No, it's correct. You just can't handle that I'm ruining your childhood. Ah, Is baby sad because his childhood is ruined? Oh, here's some other things that'll ruin your childhood. Do you want to know something? You know that kid from the toy? He went into porn. Yeah, it's true.
Oh, and don't get me started on all the other things that would just kill your childhood. Want to see Vanessa Hudgens in Spring Breakers? Huh? Oh, that would definitely ruin your childhood. Oh, and how about all of those comedians in all those talking animal movies? You want to see their stand-up acts? Huh? Oh, that would definitely be childhood ruining. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and I just got a whole list of other things that I could do to ruin your childhood. You want to hear them? Robert, if I were trolling you, you'd know it. You really think Door to Door is going to be better? No thanks, I'm not interested. I told you, I wasn't interested. I don't vote. Yeah, I'll tell you what. They're watching Ginny City in there so I can talk for a few minutes. The wife and kids are watching it. I really can't stand that bimbo Natalie Rowe. Oh no. Natalie Rowe. She's so grating, I think. Come on, she's just some actress. Come on, she's got a mannish voice, she never shuts up. And quite frankly, she's not that good looking. Okay, Robert, I think it's time to go. Oh, and for the record, Ginny's City is just a ripoff of Cindy's time. Okay, Robert, calm. Calm down. Shouldn't you be excited? I mean, the fewer people like her, that's less competition for you. If you're going to keep acting like that, what really makes you think you could win this election? What's that got to do with it? If 50-year-old guys are a thing, I guess we've had plenty of handsome presidents. Carrie and McCain weren't that good looking. You really think George Bush was that good looking? So who do you think was better looking, Romney or Obama? What about Paul Ryan? But he didn't win. Doesn't that disprove your point? Do you think George Bush Sr. was better looking than Michael Dukakis? He's the guy who ran against Bush in 1988. Fair enough, but do you think Bush and Reagan were good looking? I mean, they were both kind of old when they were elected. But do you really think people in this town are going to be blown away by good looks? Okay, Robert, riddle me this. 
What did JFK actually do as president? Is that it? So you want to hit up the next house and tell them about banging Rihanna as your next campaign slogan? Mr. Tolkien, it's nice to meet you. Who's your little friend? I am Robert's campaign manager. I've been handling his PR, and I've been making calls for him, and writing speeches, and... Sounds like your little friend is doing a lot of the work for you. He's just playing around. Take a seat. Mr. Tolkien, it sounds like you're making a few wild promises. But are you sure you can even live up to some of these promises? Well, in that case, I'd like to extend an invitation to the meeting this Saturday morning. Come on, it's Saturday. Even you kids have Saturdays off. I can go in your place. Don't have to wear a disguise, they know I'm coming. You know, I can hear you. Come on, Robert, he's just offering friendly invitations so we can learn more about the business. In that case, what does a city councilman do? Yeah, that about sums things up. I don't support issue 17. Robert, Councilman Pennant doesn't support that clause. He's actually never supported it. Do you even know what issue 17 is? So what do you plan on doing as a city councilman? You can't do that. You can't do that either. I've been meaning to ask, what party are you? I meant, what political party are you? What ideals do you have? Different political parties believe different things. I'm sure you have Facebook friends who post political stuff. Just browse them and see which ones make you angry and which ones you like. That'll narrow down things a bit. Just tell him you're an independent. Fine, Robert, just tell him whatever you feel like. <laughs> I'll see you at the debate. Oh, good, you're here. Councilman Tolkien, I helped write your... Robert, you look so down in the mouth. What's wrong? What's the matter? Lost who?
Are you serious? Simon! Robert needs our support right now. Now, Robert, there are other women out there. Come on, Robert, you can't go out there moping and doping. You have to go to the debate. No, I say we set them out like this. Voters love a vulnerable candidate. Simon, stay out of this. Robert, you always go on about the perils you faced. Did you run screaming when you had a pitch in the World Series? Did you hide under your bed after you sucker punched Kim Jong-il? Son, if I may pass on a nickel's worth of free advice, lay off the drugs. got the results in. And you definitely have breast cancer? Councilman Bennett won. And most high school students can't vote. They can't be drafted either. And there's not even a draft going on. break it to you, but a lot of the people you campaign to can't vote. Like a lot of the people at the old folks' home. That's not the problem. They're just not registered. No. I'm not old enough to vote. I voted for Bennett. I'm kidding. I can't vote either. And you feel that this treatment was unfair. Wait till you actually get elected. She first looked at me, her eyes were wide red. She stuttered clumsily. And then laughed inside her head 21st century But she's living on holy bread So right Don't move Robert Tolkien is elected Starred Alex de Corville As Robert Tolkien Patrick Dunn as Simon Alea Berman as Carrie, Megan Wessels as Robert's mom, J. L. O'Fallon as the neighbor, James Daniel Walsh as the annoying caller, and Mark Nicholson 
as Steve Bennett. Stay tuned next time for plays for more of Manic Expression's talented members, and find all of their videos, blogs, and other creative endeavors at ManicExpression.com, the greatest community on the web.